Welcome to a special edition of the SMC Journal Podcast. I'm Scott Moore, your host. Thank you for being with me today. We are going to talk about a WordPress plugin. Yes, I know on this show, we normally talk about enterprise software and IT. And you may say, Scott, it's WordPress. It's not enterprise. Uh, actually, it is. WordPress accounts for more than 40% of the web, and many large enterprises use WordPress internally and externally for their corporate websites. And so when you find something that's cool, you got to brag about it. I manage multiple WordPress websites myself, and I found a plugin that's replacing quite a few other plugins, and the free version does so much, I'm finding that I'm installing it on all of my WordPress sites. It's great. I'm not only going to show you how to install it and how to use it, and if you'll hang around towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you how quickly with one copy and paste, you'll be able to tell the AI bots you don't allow them to crawl your site if you don't want that. I'm going to give you a special code for a limited time. You're going to get 10% additional off of the products, and the price really isn't that bad. So what is the product that I'm talking about? It is called ASE, Admin and Site Enhancements. It has all of these various settings that you can change, and that's just with the free version. If you go with the pro version, there's even more. They have a annual and they have a lifetime price on this. And so when I found out about this, I said, I gotta tell my peeps about this because I know many of you also have WordPress sites as well. Let's go ahead and get the thing installed on a fresh new WordPress website. I'll go through some of the settings and then we're gonna upgrade to Pro. Let's go. This is a fresh install of WordPress and I did it with SiteGround and I used the WordPress wizard, which automatically puts some plugins in there, the Enviro Gallery, it puts the uh, all-in-one SEO, uh, a lot of stuff in there. So when you go to the dashboard, you're gonna see all of these uh, announcements that are up there. Because this is one of the things you can actually tweak with this WordPress plugin. The first thing we need to do is install the actual plugin. So let's do that. Go to plugins, add new plugin. We're gonna search for admin ASE, admin and site enhancements ASE by wpase.com. That's the one that we want. We're gonna install that and activate it. That's it. So the first thing you could do is just click configure right here and get to it. But I wanted to show you also from the main menu, say you were on the dashboard already, you would go down to tools and enhancements. You have different sections here and within each section, you have a, a lot of settings. And remember the pro is gonna have even more than this. It, let's just kind of go through some of this. I'm, I'm not gonna go through every single setting with you, but I just wanna show you some that I thought were cool. So let's just do that. So content duplication, if I wanna duplicate a page, we just turn that on. Now on some of these, you'll see an expansion bar and you will have something selected. Other ones you turn on like the content order and it will not be selected. So you actually have to select that. Let's look at media replacement. This is a really cool one. So when you first get your site going, you wanna go into the media center and you look at the library. Most of the time you see this, I would recommend going over to the list view instead of just the window view and then clicking on the edit or replace. Now you have a replace media section in here called select new media file, where you can upload or select a different file and without having to worry about it changing names or anything like that. And that way you don't have to update all this stuff and it gets all out of sync in the site. And, and that's just awesome. I like opening all external links in a new tab. I just like to go to a different tab because if I'm sending you somewhere else, I don't want to take you off of my website. Auto publish post with miss schedule. I cannot tell you how many times I've had like a local development version of WordPress and it misses the schedule and then it doesn't deploy. This fixes that problem. So that alone is worth the plug-in right there for me. Let's look at the admin interface. If you want to just do simple things like clean up the admin bar, again, we have to expand this and say, okay, do we ever really use this? Uh, probably not. I never click here for comments. I don't have comments on my site at all. I don't care about the word howdy being in here and I can get rid of them by just clicking the save changes. And as soon as you do that, you see that they just, you know, they go away. You can go from section to section. You don't have to save changes in between the different sections. Um, disable the dashboard widget. So let's go back down here to the dashboard.
and let's go back here and let's do I don't care about welcome to WordPress. Uh, I don't want to see at a glance SEO news. I don't want to see WordPress events. I don't want to see guides and tutorials. So let's save those changes. Go back into your dashboard and all that stuff got cleaned up. I would probably end up cleaning up more stuff. So you could hide the admin bar if you wanted to, make it wider and change this around as to what order you want to see that in. Various admin UI enhancements, smaller enhancements for different parts of the interface. This, are, this is really cool. Media library, infinite scrolling, and display active plugins first. I love both of those, which means that now when you go into plugins, you'll make sure that the ones that you're not using are at the bottom. And also when you go into the media library and you have this view, you can just um, scroll down. I don't have any to scroll down to because I just have the default images here. But if I had more images in here than one page, I could just scroll down and it would just be in there, which is amazing. Login and logout features here. You can change the default login. So if you wanted to keep hackers out, uh, you could change this. Be careful with that because if you forget what how you did this, you might you, know, you might forget that you changed the name of it and you won't be able to find any more. But most people can. You know, I like using the site identity on login page because I have multiple sites that I administrate and I like setting a logo up for that site and it's the, the default logo that you use is I think it's like a 112 by 112 pixel. I'll use that. We're going to go into disable components. So if you wanted to disable Gutenberg block, you could. Uh, I don't have comments on my site at all. So I definitely want to turn those off. Let's go to security. You can, I like all of these, limiting logins attempt, obfuscate author slugs, uh, obfuscate the email address, and I also disable XML RPC because I don't actually use that or need that, right? You can resize newly uploaded images if you wanted to. You can change the heartbeat. Uh, and then these utilities, there's a couple of good ones in here for this. Um, Display a panel showing and linking all available sizes when viewing an image in the media. Especially useful to quickly get to the URL of a particular image size when you have multiple sizes that you've compressed into different ones. You have this maintenance mode page. I like uh, this 404 redirect, perform a 301 that redirects to the home page, especially when you have a static site. Show a quick summary of the system that the site is running. Let's click on that and let's save that. And then I want to show you where that's at. That's in the dashboard up here. We're going to turn the at a glance back on. And this is where you're going to see the system information of what is running on this and what your IP address is, which is cool to see um, at a glance. Show admin bar status when search engines are set to be discouraged from indexing the site. I like having that one on as well. So as you can see, there is just so much going on with this plugin and they're going to be adding more stuff to this, right? This isn't finished yet. Now we're ready to install the pro version. So we went and out and we got ASC pro. So the first thing we need to do is go back to plugins. And this time we're going to uh, add a new plugin, but we're going to upload the plugin. So we're going to choose a plugin from our directory that we downloaded. And we're going to install that now. And now we're going to activate that plugin. All right, so we have to deactivate and then we can activate the pro version. Now we have to put in our license key and then we're going to activate that license. Now I have the pro version showing here. So now I'm going to have some additional options and some additional things that I can do. Add categories for the media library and enable drag and drop categorization of those items. Then you can filter by them. I like that. There are some additional items that we can remove, which come from the themes or plugins. And so like notices or uh, my WordPress or WP forms, you can set a logo for the admin area. Now notice here, the various UI enhancements. We have some more if you want to preserve the taxonomy hierarchy for the classic editor. If you want to enable dashboard column settings, you can. When people last logged in would be pretty cool. 
So I definitely want that. You've got a code snippets manager in here. So once enabled, you can find the code snippets menu on the admin menu. Prevent bloating of the database. And this is something that's not necessarily you have to have the pro version to do, but I like to pull this down to about three revisions on everything. You have a redirect to the URL of your choice. Direct them to a custom redirect there. You have the additional ability here uh, to set a live site URL. So I told you that I was going to help you get rid of AI bots crawling your site, and this is how you're going to do it. Go to this GitHub directory, and you're going to copy this text. This text is going to tell all of these different user agents don't come here. Does that mean that some bots will ignore that if they're malicious? Of course they will. But this is going to get the genuine ones that are out there, the most likely culprits that are probably scanning your site right now. We copied that code. We're going to go over to custom code. We're enabling manage robots.txt and underneath whatever's already there, we're going to put paste and save changes. I know I went through a lot of those settings really quick and I didn't even cover all of them. I just didn't want this to be a really long video. I don't think you need to know much more. You're probably already interested. If you want to know more, you can always go to the WPASE.com website and find out more about it. But I'm sure you're probably already trying to figure out how to get to it and activate it right now so you can test it out. Now, how can you save some money when you want to go pro? And I know you're going to want to go pro. When you go to the checkout process, you have a coupon code and you're gonna to wanna to enter in this code, SMC Journal 10, no spaces, SMC J-O-U-R-N-A-L-1-0. Put that in there, and if you do that before September the 10th, 2024, you're gonna get an additional 10% off. Remember, the price of this is probably gonna go up over time because they're gonna be putting more and more features in there. I'm gonna be making some suggestions about some things they could put in there that'd be really simple that would even make my life that much easier. If you feel the same way, I'd like to know what you think about this plugin. Uh, you can give me some feedback on it, and if you're gonna buy it, I'd like to know. You can reach me through multiple platforms of social media, LinkedIn, probably the primary one, but if you scan that QR code, it'll show you where you can reach me. You can also just shoot me an email. Let me know that you bought the software at heyscott at smcjournal.com. Now, if you're watching this after September the 10th, don't give up. Contact the developer and let them know that you found it out through Scott Moore and the SMC Journal. You never know. They might work with you. Or contact me and let me know. I might have to, if you're a coffee fan, I might have to send you some 503 blend coffee. We might be able to work something out with that. So let me know. It would be awesome if you like this video, if you could subscribe to my channel and let YouTube know that my channel is actually worth watching. That encourages me to do more videos like this for you. And as I find more software that I really like, I'm going to share that with you and I'm going to try to get you special discounts as well. So keep following my channel and maybe you can save a lot of money that way. So I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed showing it to you. We'll see you next time on the SMC Journal Podcast. This is Scott Moore saying thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.